And I mean, like I stopped using the pill in my 20s because of how it made me feel, because of how it made me feel in my body, like how it made me feel emotionally. Like I could tell that something was different in my body like because I would kind of go on and off and on and off because like I didn't like it. So I'd go off of it. And then my doctor would be like, well, you got to go on the pill. Obviously, there's no other option. And I'd be like, oh, OK. So I'd try like a different. And they'd be like, oh, this one is like a different like this one is like lower. Yeah. yeah. So I tried that one or like this. And I, and I never liked any of them. So at a certain point, I was like, I don't like this. This is fucking with my body. And then after I decided to go off it, I started looking into it more and doing more research. And I was like, oh, this actually is bad for me. And nobody knows. Like I talk to women now who, I mean, most women my age are not, you know, super fertile anymore. But of course I have friends who are younger than me, um, friends who are in their late twenties, friends who are in their thirties, still on, still using IUDs, hormonal IUDs, still taking the pill. And I'm like, why are you doing that? Like you're an adult woman, you're in a partnership, you're in a long-term relationship. Like this is totally unnecessary. There's so many more effective, um, safer, easier ways to do this, including withdrawal, including like use condoms if you want to, um, Mm -hmm. or, you know, your partner can get a vasectomy if you guys aren't planning to get pregnant. Um, uh, like, can you talk a little bit about hormonal birth control for people who don't know that this is not good for women? Yeah, yeah. So essentially, like the lie of hormonal birth control is that it regulates your period. That's probably the biggest like talking point that women, that, the biggest like line that that women will get when they're considering going on the pill, you know. Um so it's prescribed so young that it's not even prescribed anymore just to prevent pregnancy. So a young woman might come in, she might have um, acne, she might have really painful periods, she might have like unstable moods or um, glucose issues, insulin resistance, thyroid issues it's used as this band-aid. And so the biggest danger for women going on it is that they're usually going on it to mitigate some other symptom. And so for the time that they're on this pharmaceutical drug, you know, not to mention all of the side effects that the actual, the actual hormonal birth control has, um, there's this suppression, this long-term suppression or however long they're on the pill of what's, actually needs to be looked at and to be healed. Mm. So the root of what's going on is rarely addressed. And so that when they come off the pill for at any point in time, all the same issues are there and worse. Mm. So um, it's a really dangerous Band-Aid. That's how I like to think about it. So um, there was a study, I think it was done in Denmark for, um, I think it was women under 18 were like likely to be prescribed and I I can link, I have the study so I can link it somewhere if somebody wants it. But um, what they saw is that women who were prescribed um, hormonal birth control were almost always in conjunction prescribed antidepressant medication. Hmm. And so anecdotally, like I know this to be true. I know women who have had like psychotic, like, psychotic breaks um, while being on uh, hormonal birth control. So that includes um, IUDs, um, the pill, um, Depo-Provera shots, um, longer acting, what they call long acting reversible hormonal birth control. But what they don't tell you is that the damage is irreversible, right? So it doesn't necessarily mean you lose your fertility altogether. but there is no such thing as informed consent with these drugs. Um, And so, yeah, I mean, other common side effects of hormonal birth control is lower libido, depression, anxiety, clitoral shrinkage. This has all been scientifically documented. Yeah, and I mean, to me, it was so ironic that one of the side effects of hormonal birth control is lower libido, and I noticed that in myself before I, again, did my own research and realized that that was like a known side effect of hormonal birth control. Cause like 
the supposed point of being on birth control is so that you can have sex freely without worrying, but then you go on the pill and you don't want to have sex anymore. So it's really just yeah. for men. It's like, so men yeah. can get their pleasure when you aren't feeling up to it, aren't feeling into it. Um, and they can, you know, not worry about taking responsibility for the consequences of that. 